this video, we'll look at some ways you can use a multi-blank question. This is an extremely flexible question type, so we'll just scratch the surface in this video. Let's start with some terminology. Multi-blank questions use answer groups. When an answer group is inserted into the text of a question, it becomes a blank. Students enter their answers into those blanks. Answer groups can have one answer or multiple answers. In the first example, there is one answer group that has three answers, and the answer group has been inserted into the question multiple times. When answer groups are used in this way, students can enter the answers in any order. The second example has two answer groups with one answer each, and each group has been inserted into the question one time. Now let's look at how to create a multi-blank question, starting with a question where the answer groups have one answer each. Start by clicking the New Question button and selecting Multi-blank. I've entered the text of the question, including the answers. To add an answer to an answer group, I can select a word or phrase and then click the Insert Answer Group button. In the Answer Group dialog box, I can give the group a name. This will appear in the question information, so it's a good idea to give the group a meaningful name. I can also select a color for the answer group to help differentiate one group from another. If necessary, I can use the symbol palette to insert special characters. When multi-blank questions are offered online, students can use the same character palette to enter their answers. After I click OK, the word I selected is replaced by the answer group, which is represented by a colored rectangle and the name of the answer group. I can add another answer group by selecting another word and then clicking the Insert Answer Group button again. I can add the answer to an existing answer group or create a new one. For this example, I'll create a new group. I'll give my group a name and click OK. Finally, I'll click OK to save my question. When the question is in the editor pane, you can see where the blanks are, and you can also see the answers. Now let's look at a question that has groups with multiple answers. In this question, I want students to list the parts of an atom. It doesn't matter what order the students enter their answers, so I can use one answer group with multiple answers. I'll select the first answer and then click the Insert Answer Group button. I'll give my group a name and click OK. I'll select the next answer and click the Insert Answer Group button again. This time I'll add the answer to the group I just created rather than to a new group. The answer is added to the list of answers in the group. When I click OK, the answer group is inserted into the question again. Then I'll follow the same procedure one last time to insert the third answer. Now I have blanks for each of the answers in my answer group. Students can enter their answers in any order, but they can't get credit for the same answer twice. For example, they can't enter the word electrons three times and get the question correct. The number of blanks don't need to match the number of answers. In this example, I have an answer group with three answers, but I'm only asking the students to provide two. You can also add and edit answer groups on the Answer and Grading tab and then insert them into the question. In this example, I've written my questions without the answers. This time I'll create my groups on the Answer and Grading tab and then insert them into the question. On the Answer and Grading tab, I'll click the Add Group button. I'll give my group a name and enter the correct answers. I'll repeat the process to add another group. Now I'll go to the Question tab and insert the groups. I'll put my cursor where I want to insert the blank and click the Insert Answer Group button. 
I'll choose the answer group I want to insert and click OK. Then I'll repeat the steps to insert the other blanks or answer groups. One final thing you can do with multi-blank questions is award partial credit. To enable partial credit, click the Allow Partial Credit checkbox. When using partial credit, the number of points should be a multiple of the number of blanks in the question. In this example, I'll set the point value to 4. Those are just some of the ways to use multi-blank questions.